So for um, number 18, we want to find the, um, the formula for the a nth term that describes this pattern. And so this pattern goes 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and so on. And we know two functions that behave like this. It's the sine and cosine, right? That whenever we evaluate them at, um, at pi over 2 intervals, it goes, it goes like this. So let me put in the graph here, generally speaking, of... Uh, of sine and cosine. So this is sine, sine theta, and this is cosine of theta, right? And so we're gonna we're gonna put it in intervals of um, of pi over two. So that is two pi, um, five pi over two, and that is three pi, and so on. Um, and we're gonna do the same here. So that's pi over two, pi. 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, 5 pi over 2, and 3 pi. Um, and then we're going to put here a, a 1 and a negative 1, 1 and a negative 1. And so um, sine, it begins at 0, and then it goes 1 at pi over 2, and then 0, and then negative 1 at 3 pi over 2, 0, 1, 0, and so on. And cosine, um, it begins at 1, and then goes 0, and then negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. Um, and so let's see which of these we want to use, because we're actually, we're not beginning at 0, right? We're beginning at a1. So um, we can clearly see that this variation is going to happen according to pi over 2. As we plot these points, we can clearly see that they are multiples of pi over 2, right? It's the pi over 2s that cause this variation. Um, and so we're going to begin at a1. So we're actually going to begin evaluating it at pi over 2 and not at 0. And so at pi over 2, we can see that a1 um, sine is positive 1, right? Whereas cosine is 0. So sine of pi over 2 is 1. Sine of, uh, sine of pi is 0. And negative 1, 0, 1, and we can see that it does follow this pattern right here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put, highlight this in green. We can see that this pattern right here is followed exactly here, right? It goes uh, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0. And the reason that we have chosen sine and not cosine, even though cosine has the same pattern here it goes one zero um one zero negative one zero one and so on even though it does have the same pattern um sine of theta is indexed at one at pi over two whereas cosine of theta it begins at zero right and our sequences don't begin at zero they begin at one so um we can say here i'm going to erase this graph for the cosine we can say that this sequence is going to be sine of pi over 2, and this pi over 2 gets multiplied by n. So if we have n is equal to 1, it's going to evaluate sine of pi over 2, um, and so that is 1. If n is equal to 2, it's going to evaluate sine of pi, that is 0. If n is equal to 3, it's going to evaluate sine of 3 pi over 2, and that is negative 1. And so we can see that it matches it perfectly. And so... Um, our a n is going to be sine of n uh, n pi over two. Um, it just going to, it's going to evaluate pi over two, the sine of pi over two in multiples, and that is the general formula for number eighteen.